Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, want to thank you guys for all of your support on the portfolio. If you guys like the content, if you like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. Today, I want to talk about a stock that has a very unique and special dividend with some very peculiar dates with regards to ex-dividend date, record date, and payment date. The stock is uh, up on screen here, as you can see, NYRT is the ticker symbol, New York REIT Incorporated. As you can see on the bottom here, this is a real estate investment trust. You can see it engages in acquiring and operating income producing commercial real estate. But the big thing behind this company is that it actually suspended its regular dividend and the special dividend is actually liquidation of assets. So I don't believe the company price will rebound after the X dividend, after the payment of the dividend. Uh, so again, the dividend is $2.07 with the current price of $7.14. That's over a 350% dividend, a special dividend for the stock. The dividend also represents greater than 25% of the price of the stock. So because of that, the dividend is classified as a special dividend, which has some very peculiar things with regards to how the dividend is paid out. So the dividend payment date is tomorrow, actually, the 28th with an ex-dividend date on the 29th and a record date on the 20th. And if you guys remember from my prior videos, those are very, very peculiar because typically the ex-dividend date is two days before the record date. The record date is essentially whoever is on record will get the dividend. So you have the ex-dividend date two days before the record date. So you have to buy three days before at minimum the record date to get the dividend in a normal situation. So for example, for this stock, the uh, record date is on November 20th. So typically, the ex-dividend date would be on the 18th, two days before the uh, record date. So you'd have to buy at least three days before that. So on the 17th or uh, before that. So that's how a normal dividend works. But because this dividend is so large, over 25% of the current stock price, uh, representing a 350% uh, dividend percentage yield per year, the stock does something quite different to kind of get around very large fluctuations in the price of a stock. So typically on the ex-dividend date, the uh, uh, stock exchange always reduces the price of the stock by at least the dividend, uh, really just the dividend price. But because of that big decrease, there's always a little bit of extra movement as well. So for this particular stock, $7.14, if nothing else happens but the price of the dividend is taken out, this will trade at $5.07 guarantee. This is done automatically. Uh, it's always done. There's no other way of doing it. It always happens. And because this is a liquidating dividend, I don't believe the stock price will recover. So I'm not advocating this as a dividend capture strategy. I'm not going to be doing that just because the stock price will never recover because essentially they're liquidating their assets. It's basically, it's giving back the company in the form of dividend, uh, the assets of the company. So typically... November 20th, you'd have an ex-dividend date on the 18th. You'd have to buy 17th or before that to get the dividend payment. But for this stock, to prevent a lot of fluctuations in the price of the stock, because you can imagine that once an uh, investor is qualified for that dividend, the stock price will plunge on the ex-dividend date. So to get around that, the payment date is before the ex-dividend date, which both of those dates are after the record date. So what happens is on November 20th, if you are on record, so essentially... If you had the stock on the 18th, just like a normal ex-dividend day, you would get the dividend payment. You'd be on record to receive that. But if you sold off before the 29th, even after getting the dividend payment on the 28th, you would have to pay the new stockholder of the stock that uh, you sold off through a due bill process. So the brokerage account would credit your account the money for that stock, but the brokerage account would then automatically take that money back out of your account and send it over to the new stock holder, uh, holder. It's all done automatically. You can't take that money out and kind of run with it. Uh, very unique process. But again, it's a process trying to get around of uh, some of the large fluctuations in the price of a stock. If the payment date is uh, uh, far after the ex-dividend date and if the ex-dividend date is before the record date. So it's kind of a different process. A lot of different uh, things that are going on. It gets very, very confusing with all the dates, especially for new investors. But essentially... If you got a payment and sold off before the ex-dividend date, you would then have to pay the uh, uh, dividend
back to whoever bought the uh, stock. And again, that's all done automatically. You don't have to do anything about that. You don't have to worry about paying anybody. The brokerage account has all the records of who the stock dividend was sent to and then who the, di the stock dividend actually belongs to in regards to the special dividends. Because you can get on record, you can get the dividend payment, but if you sell off before the ex-dividend date, then you would have to take that money back out of your account and send over to the new stockholder. Very, very complicated process, but definitely thought this would be kind of cool to show you guys exactly what happens with a special dividend. So typically I like special dividends. I like trying to capture those through dividend capture. Lots of fun. I've uh, made quite a bit of money in that uh, kind of investing strategy in the past, but for this particular stock, since it's a liquidating dividend, the stock price I don't think it will recover. At the minimum, this price, the stock will trade at $5.07. Uh, I don't think that stock will start trending back up. So you can jump into the stock, but just know that you're going to basically get a stock that is liquidating its assets. The company will uh, uh, decrease in value, and because of that, the stock price will as well. Probably more than the $2.07 special dividend that will be happening uh, over the next week here. So if you want to jump into the stock, you can still do that. You'll get paid through a due process at this point because the record date was on the 20th. It's going to be paid out tomorrow, but if you buy tomorrow, it's still before the ex dividend date, so you can still get that dividend. It simply would be coming from another investor uh, through a brokerage account rather than from the company itself. So very cool, unique stock here. Again, NYRT, special dividend, New York Real Estate Investment Trust, liquidating assets, $2.07 dividend which represents a 350 percent apr dividend yield on this particular stock so very cool very unique let me know what you guys think about special dividends i've done a few of these videos in the past but a lot of new investors on the channel a lot of new viewers that didn't quite understand what was going on with the stock uh, this was actually mentioned in one of the comment threads kind of wondering why the ex dividend date was after the payment date and after the record date and that is why it's a special dividend the dividend is greater than 25% of the stock price. And because of that, to get around wild fluctuations in the price of the stock, the payment date is before the ex-dividend date, which are after the record date. Very, very confusing uh, if you don't know what all of those different uh, dates mean. If you don't, please go back to some prior videos. I put out quite a few videos talking about record date, ex-dividend date, payment date, all of those good dates that you need to know as a dividend investor. So not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, we'll see you then.